<laughs> so, if if you can run 16 on 32-bit, how come you can't run 16 within the 32-bit? That's within the 64-bit, though, is what I'm saying. Okay, I mean, I, I'm not saying possible. you can't if it was a different operating system, but Microsoft did not include support for 16-bit op programs with their 64-bit operating systems. Microsoft made Windows. If Microsoft didn't put it with Windows, it's not there. It ain't gonna work. But 16-bit is there within the 32-bit, and 32-bit is no, there within the 64-bit. Okay, the 16, the 32-bit within the 64-bit is different than playing 32-bit by itself. But I mean, it's not, it's not full-blown 32-bit. So there, oh my God, Eric, why are you gonna be so fucking bullheaded? <laughs> <laughs> You're making this so hard, but I've already given you the answer. It cannot be done the way you're wanting to do it. But, I mean... You've got to a 16-bit environment. But, if you can do, on 64-bit, if you can run 32-bit, and on 32-bit you can run 64-bit, how come you can't run 16-bit on 32-bit <laughs> on the 64-bit? <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> and you're not saying it wouldn't work if it was a different operating system, but it's Microsoft Windows, and like I said, Microsoft did not include support for 16-bit with their 64-bit operating systems. But what I'm saying doesn't have anything to do with Microsoft at all. It has to do with... Microsoft and Windows, you're using Windows, retard! I know, but on Microsoft Windows, on 64-bit, you can run 32-bit. On Microsoft Windows 32-bit, you can run 16-bit. So, on Microsoft Windows on 64-bit, why can't you run Microsoft Windows 32-bit within the 16-bit? Or vice versa, rather. Okay, okay, okay. 32-bit is compatible with 64-bit. Always has been. Always will be. 16-bit does not work with 64-bit. It doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. Okay, you but... Gotta have but like you said, 32 bits always been compatible with 64 bit, but as well, 16 bit has always been compatible with 32 bit on Microsoft, not, it's not, well, not and it still be. is. Kinda, kinda. <laughs> well, si since 64 has been out, 32 has been able to run on it. It's not even entirely compatible with 32 bit. The coding is just that vastly different. It's just the way it's coded, the way the architecture is set up. <laughs> but 16-bit can run on 32-bit. And 32-bit can run so on 64-bit. you still got to help it run on 32-bit. It, 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 it's got to use some kind of DOS to run even then. And the older 32-bit windows had DOS built in. There's not enough DOS code in Windows 64-bit. But there is a 32. Yes, but it's not with the 64. But on 64, you can run 32. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I know. That doesn't mean you can run 16-bit on the 64-bit. Your argument's not making any sense. Cause you, you, it, it, it sounds logical, but it's really illogical. I'm not saying that 16 can run on 32. Yeah. I'm saying that 16 can run on 30. I mean, I'm not saying 16 can run on 64. <laughs> I'm saying 16 can run on 32, running on 64. No, it can't because it's Microsoft Windows. It doesn't matter if it's Microsoft Windows or Mac or, or Linux it, it matters, or. or <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's Microsoft Windows. It matters if it's Microsoft Windows X64. <laughs> but what about x86? <laughs> well, you're not on x86, so it doesn't matter. You're on x64. <laughs> but I can run x86. <laughs> because you have an x86. Okay, when you look at your 64-bit and you look at, look at your C programs, you see a six, when you see program files and you see a program files x86. You don't see no program files 16-bit. But... You can run 16 on 32. You're going in a freaking circle. Just quit. Just quit. You're not going to get It won't hurt. It just won't. It's not going to work. It never will. You've got a DOS simulator. you got to have a DOS 
Fox environment to run a 16-bit program. Speaking <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> you said the same thing 20 times. My answer is not going to change. Even though your answer is not changing, what I'm saying is not changing because it's true. I mean, if you can run 16 on 32, why can't you run 16 on 32 running on 64? <laughs> Caleb, are you there? <laughs> Don't ruin it now, Caleb. It's, it, we're having a good hey, argument. Hey, hey. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. 64-bit is 64-bit. 32-bit will run on 64-bit, but there's no 32-bit. It's just, it's, it's, it's 64-bit. Okay, here's what I don't get. You said 64-bit is 64-bit. I already know that. I mean, <laughs> it runs 32-bit, but there's not, it's, it's full 64-bit architecture, not a 32-bit architecture. Think of it like a graph, Caleb. There's a 64-bit, right? Underneath 64 is two 32s, right? Underneath... But in, but in this, no, no, but within this, there's 64, and then there's 64, and then there's 64. Period. <laughs> but you can still run 32. Therefore, why can't you run yes, 16? But it's... Because it's not the code is not there. It does. It's not compatible with the architecture. The way the coding is, it just doesn't work out that way. We don't have enough. We can't get complex enough into this to know why it doesn't. It just doesn't. Okay. The way the architecture just doesn't work. But if the coding is there enough for 32 bit to run 16, how come the coding isn't there enough for 64 bit running 32 bit? To run 16. The 64 bit is not running 32 bit. But you can the, run. The 64 bit is running 64 bit. It just has 32 bit compatibility. Exactly. But that means you can run 32 bit programs. Therefore, why can't you run 16 bit programs? Because 64 bit has 32 bit compatibility. It doesn't say anything about 16 bit compatibility. So, just because 64 goes 32 and 64 two times doesn't mean anything. So it's kind of like the PlayStation, then, huh? I mean, PlayStation Two can play PlayStation One games, but the PlayStation you got to download all this extra crap to play it. Basically, yeah. So therefore, it still can be done. It's like a Game Boy. So, 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 so it, can be, it can be done. You emulate DOS. You have to emulate a 16 environment. You basically but, have to add something that adds that 16-bit code to the 64-bit, like a DOS simulator. That adds a 16-bit architecture to the 64-bit. Therefore, bam, you can run any 16-bit you want, but you got to add that architecture into the 64-bit, because right now it's just not there. But uh, still, I mean, it's got 32-bit. Yes, it, ha it has 32-bit compatibility. That doesn't mean it has 32-bit. It just has 32-bit compatibility. No, actually, it does have 32-bit, or else it couldn't have 64. What the hell are you talking about? It's 64-bit. It just runs 32-bit operating programs. But it has to have 32 bits in order to make it to 64. I mean, you can't have just it's 64 some, bits and not have 32 it, bits. It's 64 bits, but it has 32 bit program compatibility and 32, and 32 bit architecture compatibility, basically. It's 64 bit, it just, it's, it's close enough to 32 bit that it can run 32 bit programs. The thing about this 32 and 64 are right next to each other in terms of counting by 16. But 16 has 32 in between it and 64. Think about it that way. Okay, if you want to think about it that way, then 64 shouldn't be able to run 32-bit because, I mean, that's too far of a leap. They're not right next to each other. I mean, they're as I close to each other as 32 and 16 are. Still, it just doesn't work. Okay, it just doesn't. So, so going by that logic, 
64 could only run 64 it has no 32 bit compatibility as well 32 <laughs> has no 60, 16 bit compatibility is that what you're saying there okay let, let, let me do this for you which 3 plus 2 5 add 3 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 okay add okay 32 bit is plus 2 okay you have thir 32 right yes 3 plus 2 is 5 yes 32 goes into 64 how many times? A lot. <laughs> Twice. You take 3 plus 2 and 3 uh, plus 2, that's 5. 6 plus 4 is 10. Bam. 10 and 10. Okay, and 6 plus 1 is what? 7. And then 8 plus 9 is what? What? <laughs> See, I could throw numbers out there, too. <laughs> Where I said made sense, what you said made no sense. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was math class. It was like 5th grade all over again. Said this way: 32-bit X2 basically would equal 10, and 64-bit equals 10. <laughs> okay, dude. What did you just say? 32-bit equals 5. 64-bit equals 10. 32 goes into 64 twice, so therefore 5 and 5 is 10, and 64-bit is 10. So 10 equals 10. Okay, so if 32 is 5 and 64 is 10, what is what is 16? 2. 16 is 7. Okay, how is 16 7, but 32 only 5? Things change. That's my example. Things change. They change so much, that's why they're not compatible. That doesn't answer my question that I just asked. If 32 equals 5, how does 16 equal 7? And six 64 plus one equals seven. 10. It's that freaking simple. I mean, that's like jumping around. I mean, you're not going straight up a ladder. You're like going up, then you're going down, and you're going back up. And that ain't simple to me. Go. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You just save yourself a trouble and call your cousin just ask him but but why should I call my cousin and when I have you I mean you're explaining everything so well I mean when when, when you count you go from seven to five to ten that makes perfect sense okay it does make sense if you look at the fucking numbers you're not thinking about the numbers write it down on paper it makes sense okay when you when you're counting 16 32 to 64 that's the order in lowest to highest right how yeah. how is 7 5 10 going lowest to highest i mean that that that's doesn't an make example. sense you just can't think that way it has nothing to do with going from lowest to highest in the second set of numbers okay well then why are you even adding the numbers up what what does that even mean Okay, like I said, 32-bit equals 5. 32-bit goes into 10, 64 twice. 6 plus 4 is 10. 64 equals 10. 32 times 2, which is equal, equal 10, because 32 equals 5. So therefore, it goes into 64 one time. So, that, so means, that means 64 that, bit. Okay, that means they're very similar to each other. Very similar. 60, 16 is 7. Okay, so and for sixteen to, and for sixteen to even start going into sixty four, you've got to multiply it by four. So, are, are you saying sixteen bit is better than thirty two bit because I'm it's a higher number? That is, that, that's not the point. The point is sixteen bit is not as similar as thirty two okay. bit and sixty four bit. 
Okay, so in order for 5 to go into 10, you got to multiply 5 by 2, right? So 32-bit goes twice into 64-bit, right? So does that mean that 16-bit goes into 64-bit uh, 1.3 times?